Hello everybody, welcome once again, another dollar store tool review. Uh, for this review we're going to be testing out a five pack of twist drill bits, specifically called the five piece twist drills, uh, made by Chateau. Chateau is one of the more common brands you find like Gold Tools or Wellson in most dollar stores, whether it be big chain dollar stores or mom and pop stores. Something interesting I noticed about this the uh, packaging, the labeling, it all seems to put the uh, French portion first and then the English second. Perhaps their market is specifically Quebec. So my friend Ian is over here, he brought his drill, so if he could open the package. So am I going to use this to fix my chateau? <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you want to take all the pieces out. Yeah, I thought I would. Uh, the packaging was pre-cut for easy access. Uh, some packages they're easy to tear open. This is the kind of thing that uh, you would need a knife or a pair of scissors to cut into. So it's five bits and I will just read off the uh, sizes it lists. Five thirty seconds, three sixteenths, one quarter, five sixteenths, and three eighths. Pretty standard sizes, something common for most household uses. So, we're going to be taking these bits and placing them in uh, Ian's drill here. We're also going to use this opportunity to test out his chuck key. Or our chuck key, I should say. <laughs> well, you bought it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to do it in view. Okay. If you can. Hmm, it's working. It's nice and tight. Wasn't sitted? No, it was off centered. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, now um, it's pretty obvious that all of the bits are circular. We're not going to have any problems with uh, any of them <laughs> being oval or something not fitting in the drill. Yeah. So, with that in mind, there's no real need to film installing all five bits into the drill to test. Mm -hmm. We've just we've we've shown the one fits in easy. It's a drill bit. The only real question is how strong is it? How will it last? I don't know. They they feel kind of light, personally. It does feel. I think it's aluminum. Um, running my fingertip along the point, it does seem to have a sharp edge so far. It's nothing that can translate into video. We can't show the people on the internet how sharp it is. You know. Yeah. But uh, we'll go cut a couple Unless of pieces. Wanna... Cut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go cut a couple of pieces of wood outside and uh, maybe film that. And then when we come back, we'll do some close-ups on the uh, tip of the bits and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we're now out in the backyard. Uh, apologize for any background noise. And uh, Ian's got his drill here and the uh, Chateau brand uh, dollar store drill bits. We're going to... This here is like an old section of telephone pole. Uh, when we bought the house, they were surrounding the yard. They were like lining the... Uh, property border so uh, they've been sitting out some of them have rotted but some of them are very very sturdy I've tried to cut one and some of them are very very strong so I think it's a, an appropriate test for the drill bit so Ian's gonna give it a shot and we'll see how well it holds up all right so it went in really easy unfortunately <laughs> The drill just doesn't have a lot of juice. Yeah. But um, I could tell it was uh, it, it was uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, now I'm going to be drilling the largest drill bit from the Chateau drill bit set that we got from the dollar store into the pilot hole we already have. And then when it's about halfway embedded, I'm going to see just how easily I can bend it, if I can bend it at all. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, it's not focused. There we go. That broke. Yeah, and... <laughs> I did not that... have to put a lot of pressure into that. <laughs> no, that looked too easy, actually. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, that's good, right there. That broke without very 
very much effort at all. There was no. It was just like snap, big. and then that's it. My goodness, that was a very poor performer. And I look into it, and okay, yeah, it's metal. It's aluminum. You know what? If you're going through a very soft wood like pine, I suppose this could do. But if you're putting a picture in a if wall, you're putting one like, picture in a wall, yeah, yeah. you could get away with this. Yeah. But if you're, wow, I'm going to read drywall and I need to put some new studs up and, and, and no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go to a major hardware store or a, a big box store that has a good hardware section and buy your set of, self a set of yeah. brand name bits. This is a fail. Okay, so we just completed our outdoor test of the uh, five-piece twist drill bits by Chateau. Um, Ian took the smaller of the two bits and uh, just to see how well it did and getting into the wood it, it did a pretty good job yeah. it, it bit into the wood very well yep. it took some of the paint off I don't know how well that's going to show but uh, when I took the biggest one this is what happened Yeah. now it bit into the wood very very well it, it chewed through it but this is a perfectly sharp brand new blade on the end and this was one use and I buried it that far and then bent it twisted sideways on the drill handle to see if I could bend the bit because uh, I thought I might be able to because I bent yeah. drill bits in the past it snapped it real snapped. easy <laughs> I did easy. not put a lot of pressure no. on <laughs> if you <laughs> I cannot recommend this at all. If you want to oh, stay wow. there, I'm going to see if I can zoom in mm -hmm. to show uh, some of the... Yeah, it's a pretty clean break too. Yeah. But it just snapped within a second. It snapped. It, it, my goodness. And we didn't do a lot of takes either. No, no, um, we did one take with, yeah. with each. One with the smaller bit and uh, one with the larger bit. If you can see on the smaller bit there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it lasted, but we didn't twist on it sideways to bend the shaft but it did peel some of the paint off. So the question has to be asked, if this is how soft the metal is, and you say, well, as long as you don't bend it, you're fine, but the blade tip isn't gonna be strong either. So that first use, it's perfectly sharp. Yeah. The second one, it's gonna be a <laughs> lot duller, and you'll get uh, five to 10 uses in, and this will be no good to you anymore. So uh, this is obviously a fail. Well, you know what they say, they can't all be winners. This one fails, it doesn't make it to the toolbox. For me, this one goes straight in the garbage. If you want to see more reviews of Dollar Store Tools, click subscribe and let me know with a message. Thank you.